name is Cal Moliné from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today, I'm here at the Compass to spread their message of freedom and to spread some anarchy. Thank you for watching, thank you for sharing this content if you do, and uh, please subscribe if you can. See you at the victory party. Uh, three simple, come closer, come closer. Won't bite. I won't bite. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask you three simple questions. Very briefly discuss the hidden violence behind government, and that's what your thoughts and comments are. Sounds good? All right. Sure. All right. So that's the hidden violence behind government, and that only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems, which is the plurality of non-violent solutions that you and I already share. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, I see your point. I think you're saying that, like, the money that we should spend, even if we were to pay taxes to a government, then we should be able to choose where our taxes go and how they fund. Yeah. And another point that you said was, I guess I, I don't believe in, you know, the smoking of, you know, weed or cannabis as that should be. Because that's a choice. It's, that's like a victimless crime. Right. Thank you. Yes, it's a victimless crime. Who are you hurting? Who's just the offender here? Right? Just hit put that guy in the cell because for no reason. I see you. Right? I see your point. Yeah. Right. And, and, and that's what government does. So, unfortunately, government can only force one preference onto everyone in a geographic region. Right. Uh, the majority preference over the minority preference. Right? Yeah. So, either everyone hates it or they love it. There's yeah. no in between. There's no community of rich different preferences. Um, and that's and so that's pretty much what I'm here to talk about. You know, I guess this moral uh, position that you and I share against using violence to solve problems, that's, that's called anarchy. Uh, yeah. Like in science, for example, anions and cations, and means without, yep. archy means rulers. Yes, sir. Uh, so without political rulers, like monarchy means one political ruler, anarchy means without strangers arbitrarily dictating and deciding how best their life should be lived. Right? Makes sense to me. Yeah, all right, so very great. <laughs> all right, so that, that's what government is. They have a monopoly on services. Right. Like uh, they have a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on courts, on judges, on security, on roads, on schools. You can't opt out, cancel, unsubscribe. We even have the freedom to compete and provide a better service. It's not going to be harmful and abusive to the people that are paying their salaries. All right? Okay. All right. Well, oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, any any more thoughts? What do you think about that? I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, well, I dig what is being put down. Nice, man. Well, my name is Cal. All right. Word. All right, well, let me give you some pamphlets. Do you like some pamphlets? I love some pamphlets. Oh, yes. So here's a pamphlet on anarchy and peaceful parenting. Probably in that, if you're going to have a principle, you have to universalize it. You can't make exceptions, otherwise it becomes a preference, right? Yeah. Either not just state violence is wrong, it has to be all violence, you know, especially the violence between each other and especially the violence of son and children, you know, universalizing that principle. Otherwise, it's someone, it's kind of what political rulers say, that they can decide what best you can do with your body, what you can and cannot do, but you can't tell them you know, the same. Right. Right. All right, cool, man. Well, this is great. Dude. All right, dude, nice. Thank you. <laughs> of course, man. Take good care. You too. Have a good day. You too, man. And that's the hidden violence behind government, and that only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Right? Yes. So what are your thoughts on that? Dickhead, I always thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Thanks, You're thanks. Welcome, man. All right, well, 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 one last thing. I guess I wanted uh, to, to wrap up. I guess what reason I'm out here today. Uh, well, come, come here, sir. Uh, all right, so the thing is, so this more stance that you and I already share against using violence to solve problems, that's called anarchy. Like in science, cations and anions, and ions means without, archy means rulers. So monarchy, one ruler, anarchy means without, strangers arbitrarily dictating, deciding what best is for you to decide, you know, for your own happiness, right? So we can still have rules, we can still have communities of preferences, at least you don't have a stranger, a politician, forcing their opinions and ideas onto you, Yeah. right? So if you realize what government is, is that government has a monopoly on services. They have a monopoly on roads and schools and security on judges and courts and on, on roads. You can't opt out, cancel, unsubscribe, you know, with the money that you're forced to give them or have the freedom to use that and create a better business that's not going to be abusive and harmful to the consumers, to you, who are paying their salaries. Right? So let me give you a, a pamphlet uh, if you're interested in uh, learning some more. Here you go, man. My name is Cal. Hi, my name is Juan. Juan, pleasure to meet you, Juan. Pleasure to meet you. Hey, hey you curious? Yeah, I'll talk with you. I, I was like, I, like, you look familiar. I was like, I'm pretty sure we talked. Yeah. How are you, man? I'm about to walk inside uh, the library. You want to come in? It's uh, starting to rain a little bit. Yeah. Or don't even agree with that idea or, and try to escape, I'd be met with more violence if something shot, murdered. Yeah. And at the same time, government is even bound to more violence because at no point can you say, I do want to help the poor, but I don't want to fund war. Right? Yeah. You have no freedom of economic choice. You have to give them your money. You yeah. have to give up your property. You have to pay your taxes. 
because if you didn't have a freedom of economic choice, they wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage. Yeah. If you, you didn't pay your taxes. The rule of law is immoral. I'm saying having a monopoly on law is immoral. But their monopoly is, I mean, we do elect them. Well, we, well, we, I, we choose to participate in that system. Well, well, what about the people who don't choose? You still force your preference over them, right? But I mean, they're just exercising their right to not participate. Well, how does that work? Oh, so if I create an organization, here's the rules, and people are not involved, the people who are not involved are so afflicted by it, even if they choose to be associated with it or not. So the, but going back to the point, I'd love to talk about the point. I guess when I wrap that part, the, then the government only knows how to solve problems in one way, though, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus a plurality of nonviolent solution that you and I already share. I don't know if the government threatens violence to solve every problem. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Because it's even funded to more violence, theft, the extortion of other people to fund those ideas and services. Yeah. Uh, so, what, so, what, so let's let's define what government is, you know, and, and what, the, what what it actually is, right? Objectively, the government is a monopoly of, of services, right? They have a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly on courts, on judges, on security, on roads, on schools, first-class mail, on the distribution of distilled liquor, uh, distilled spirits here in the tax of Virginia. So they have a monopoly on services that they force upon you, and you're forced to pay for, it, whether you want them or not. You you don't have the freedom to unsubscribe, cancel a payment, or even have the freedom to create a better service that's not going to be harmful and abusive to the people who are paying their salaries, to the consumers. You have the right to petition and to try and get those things to and bring to well, notice to the senators what you want enacted, right. then it's their job to follow through with what you, what you want. Right. But, but, but at that point, who cares if they, they finally legalize cannabis tomorrow, for example? How long did that take? To, yeah, to beg? 75 years is not a measure of success to gain one scrap of our freedom, but to have lost so many others in the same amount of time. Right? But That's why... Government is, like, it can be turned into a horrible thing, but it seems to me to just be a necessary evil that we all have to grudgingly why? participate in. Evil is so evil, without, right? Because without that... <laughs> What's up, man? What's up? I'm about to get some last one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, here, hugs. Good to see you. Good yeah. to see you. <laughs> Boy, I'll see you soon. Yes, yes, yes. But I don't. It, without the government, which does have a monopoly on the system that it overlooks. Right. But we appoint those people by the people that choose to participate. Without that, without that government overlook, I mean. It, it what would you have be, without government? It would be there'd be no rule of law. People could do with whatever they want, and the only punishment they would find would be the other individual or people that know that individual. Right, so, all right, all right. so without the monopoly and law the government has, you'll have a polycentric legal system. You'll have rich, diverse communities of preferences. You can have an apartment complex then that's 420 friendly, one across the street that's not. Yeah, but there would be no... Uh, there'll still be security, there'll still be roads, there'll still be schools, there'll still be all these there services. There would be no roads. The yeah. infrastructure would be gone. The first roads that were created were private. Yeah, but who would pay for those? Uh, for, for, it could be, or for example, what, what's name, name one expensive item that you've, you've paid, you bought like recently? Uh, I had to buy a car last year. You bought a car? Okay, all right. Well, so, used car. All right, so what, what went into the decision process and seeing that this is the best choice for you right now, economically or? It was the only thing I could afford. Yeah, the only thing you could afford. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, but um, you didn't go off Craigslist, so you took some time to, to see if it works. Um, yeah, I took right? it to a buddy who knows a little bit about it. Yeah, so you took it to someone who has a good uh, idea of opinion who you who you trust, right? Yeah, but you I didn't use a government service. You didn't use a government, right. So you, you had a, a, other people's uh, authority on that opinion that you trust. And of course, if your, your buddy's car always breaks down or mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't really go to him. Or like someone who always follows for bankruptcy, you wouldn't ask for advanced, uh, financial advice, right? Yeah. So you made a lot of these different choices, like maybe trying to buy a MacBook or, or a computer, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to compare. It's like, well, this is the best one. This is not the best one. And that's what you'll have in a free and voluntary society. Government doesn't doesn't build roads to begin with. They outsource that to businesses to do it to begin with. The yeah. politically connected to the lowest bidder with the lowest <laughs> quality of tools. Uh, so government doesn't really build anything. They're the middle man who just takes from your pockets and says, I know what's best for you. Listen, you don't understand roads. Look, trust us. We know roads better than anyone else. You know, just give us your money. We'll decide what's best but for you. But aren't those private citizens that you say we should trust without a form of government? Isn't the government just those private citizens that we trust? But the thing is, they do it whether you want them or not. You have no choice in the matter, we right? Have, yeah, okay, that's we great. And that's called them because we feel like they align themselves with, with our views. Right. So it's competing views then. It's because uh, the government only knows how to force one preference onto a geographic region, whether the uh, minority agree with it or not. So it's the majority preference over the minority instead of having a rich, diverse, different communities of preferences. So either everyone hates marijuana or they don't. You don't have the freedom to associate, disassociate. 
You know I mean? So it's someone's preference is still, still forced upon those that don't want it. Yeah. Right? So well, that's they what do, they do have that debate in Congress. I mean, they debate that out, and some people are for it, and some right. people are against it. But those are pure political rulers. Who cares what strangers do in, in, in the midst of them deciding how best to dictate your life? Yeah. Well, but so, so uh, the whole point of I'm coming out here really is to, to try to, to get to the point where this moral stance you and I already share against using violence to solve problems, that's called anarchy. Like uh, in science, for example, anions and cations. An means without, archy means political rulers, like monarchy, one political ruler. Anarchy means without political rulers, without strangers arbitrarily dictating, deciding how best your life to be lived. And that you can have a plurality, you can still have a legal system, but a polycentric legal system. You can still have security, like in Detroit, because it takes over an hour for the police to respond, because it's falling to bankruptcy. This guy created his own private security that business are paying for. Neighborhoods want the security, because he's not throwing them to cages for victimless crimes. Yeah. You can still have all these rich, rich, awesome services uh, without being pointed a gun at you and taking your money uh, by, by force. Yeah, that seems so idealistic, though, that we could trust the entire community. I trust to you to make the best choice for yourself. Yeah, but I don't no trust one else, everyone but, else. Right, and I, don't, I, and I cannot decide what's best for anyone else. Only yeah. that individual can decide what's best for them, right? Mm -hmm. So you'll have all these different rich uh, entrepreneurs and free market people to cater into those preferences. Yeah. You'll have all kinds of roads. Right, for example, like Detroit mass transit is shut down because it becomes unsustainable, it collapsed. This guy, 25-year-old uh, college student, he bought four buses. Any of these buses to reflect the geographic regions of Detroit, and these buses will pick you up wherever you are. There's no centralized planning routes. Mm -hmm. Text them, call them, picks you up. And on these buses, there's Wi-Fi on these buses. There's music on these buses. There's BYOB yeah. because there's no more state monopoly on law to enforce. No, so out of that, you have these also creative uh, ways to 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 move around, to yeah. to to travel uh, outside of the, the boring, stagnantized idleness of uh, what government craves. Yeah, but say two people got in an argument on one of those buses, sure, sure, they got sure. in a fight, yeah. and who would be to blame? All right, so uh, I mean, uh, so on these buses, you'll have like maybe a camera. You see who started it. Uh, so look, before this escalates, let's let's figure out what the problem is, right? Let's let's uh, you'll, you'll still have private dispute resolution organizations, much like on eBay. Uh, eBay has a great dispute resolution organization. If someone steals from you, they'll pay you back. Like sometimes maybe your your bank, for example, if someone stole from you, someone crack hacked your uh, credit card. Here's two hundred dollars. We, we debit that back to you. We're going to investigate the matter ourselves, mm -hmm. right? Whereas if you report that to the police, you don't get any incentive or anything back from the government. Yeah, but if it was left up to that bus company or that, that eBay. Yeah. It was left up to them to enforce, if they run from themselves, to be responsible to get that money back. What authority do they have over that other person without deeming themselves uh, like a, a government? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, great, right, all right, good, good, all right, great. All right, so there's two ways this can go about. There could be uh, you know, riding on these buses, you consent to these following rules. Uh, if there's a dispute or an altercation, you'll abide to this particular um, arbitration system. Much like if you get up in a car wreck, you know, the two people don't really go to court, it's their insurance companies that kind of settle this out, right? So one phase of uh, premium wage, say again? How can you say government is a moral? Government is the reason I can come to college. <laughs> government is the reason, ever since my mother died, I've had benefits from the government and I've <laughs> continued. Right, right, right. How can you say they're immoral if they allow people like me to live my life? Uh, you can still have schools. Uh, I mean, that's why tuition rates continue to skyrocket when they have monopoly on all states. I got to go. Yeah, yeah, take good care. Take you look care. great in that outfit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, all right, so you still have, or kind of like Geico is a great example of how you can resolve this dispute without resorting to violence. You know, that's why you have insurance to protect you from the recklessness of other drivers, lest their premiums go up and they're no longer insured and covered, right? Yeah. So, in a way, we can have, there's, there's one interesting alternative idea, non violent solution, that we can have like uh, insurances against each other, mm -hmm. right? So, if you were to aggress against me, your premiums would up and of course your insurance company will say listen obviously you have anger management issues let's go to anger management classes lower your premiums let's let's uncover what why I just don't want to, well that's fine I, then then that bus for example doesn't have to interact with you because it's all voluntary right but then they're infringing on my freedom to on what? be part of that bus system you don't have to be it's all voluntary or right, for example you can be uh, you can have all if you were to aggress against someone you can have all the money in the world but no one's gonna want, why, why would they want to associate with you and interact with you if you're going to just aggress against them why would they, they don't have to but I could do whatever they I I want to them. They, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be allowed on that property. Punishment if, they tried to deal to me. You I wouldn't be allowed on that property. It's like trying to go into uh, into so a mall. This creates a type 
type of government assistance? No, no, it's voluntary. It's a voluntary community because it's voluntary. You don't have this, the, the relationship you have with government is not voluntary. You don't have the freedom to disassociate. You don't have the freedom yeah. to unsubscribe. At least with the business, if you feel like they're doing something that's tyrannical, like Netflix last year, try to raise your prices overnight and people are like, oh, cancel, unsubscribe, go to who? Yeah. Right? That's what will happen the moment one business is you feel like it's trying to infringe upon you. It's like, well, you know what? I'm not supporting this. I'm going to do a campaign. Or the businesses are just like, don't go with them. Come with us. We'll give you a guarantee. You'll have a better experience yeah. in, uh, with, with our services okay. instead. But in that, uh, what is it? The central political system you said? Uh, or you can have a polycentric legal polycentric system. Polycentric yeah. system. Say I want to kill him. Right. I'm going to kill this guy. You want to kill this guy, yeah. And so what would your system do about it? All right. So say he lives at... Um, in a gated community, like a golf course community that exists today, or maybe a 55 plus senior community, uh, you're coming in through the gated community, there's a security in the front door, it's like, well, you know, if you want to come in, you have to consent that you're not going to aggress against anyone. Here's the potential so consequences. Security system. Well, yeah, you have security against would-be aggressors like yourselves if you want to aggress against someone. So if you want to be a part of this community, uh, you have a real tangible contract, not a social contract, a real tangible, like a mortgage contract, something you sign and agree to the terms and the consequences. Okay, so you're saying more very, like, almost village com community like yeah you'll, you'll have real contracts that you can agree to you can have okay. a thunderdome community that says if we get into a fight two may enter one may okay. leave what if one community decides you know we're running out of water we need to go to this community and take their water why are they running out of water who's running out of water well say, i mean any any one of those little communities <laughs> right say you know, someone will be on right. resources right. to provide for themselves sure their backs against the wall they're starving they say you know we need to do something we need to go over to the next community we need to take what they have but what Happy. People would just leave that community altogether. Yeah, it's so like obviously you did a bad job trying to create this community. I'm moving over to that yeah. community next over. That's what will happen. That, that, that group bond, that group mentality they share, they feel like they are stronger together than they are apart. Well, then, some, then, well, then one of them will say, you know what? I, look, obviously the guy who created this community doesn't know what he's doing. Come with me. I'll create a better community. I have a friend who's in the water industry. Uh, you know, there'd be no corporations because without government, there's no such thing as a corporation. Just a piece of paper that allows you to escape personal liability and um, from, for your own actions. No corporation. It goes back it to the way it dangerous. goes back. It seems very it's dangerous. very dangerous for what exists right now. Where, uh, like, oil spill off the coast of Alaska. The CEOs don't lose their money, their house, or anything. Yeah. It's the employees that suffer by lowering their salaries. It's consumers that suffer by raising consumer prices. Mm -hmm. You know, without a government, there's no such thing as corporation. It goes back to the way it used to be. Are you against the monetary system? Too? Yes, the Federal Reserve and all that stuff. Yeah, they, they even have a monopoly on currency. You can't opt yeah. out, right? And it's lost but over we 97. Choose to participate in this you system. don't choose. We, you don't have a choice. We can travel abroad. We can go live in Australia. To another tax or form. Or but the thing is, this is my home. I mean, it, 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 civilization belongs to the civilized. It should be the aggressors who aggress upon you, who steal from you. That's what will leave. If they love government so much, they should move to North Korea. But on your system, they wouldn't have to. Am I free? Yeah, under this, this is not, it's not my system. The system is a voluntary choice, a freedom to choose, the freedom to, to put your resources and allocate that where you want it to go. It seems very nice. It seems very nice. But, I mean, I, I think I'm an idealist. But this right. is a whole Oh, no, this is a realist idealism. position. Idealism would be to think that trying to do something that's never worked is going to continue to work if you keep trying to do it through government. A reform is another word of saying that the last 99 attempts didn't work. The only time there was a limited government was back in 1776. Well, it seems like there are, a reform is only necessary once a problem arises. I mean, reform, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> reforms are just a necessary part of progression. If it was a regular business, they go bankrupt and you have anyone can compete to provide you a better service. Yeah. They won't call it reform. They'll call it a better way to upgrade to suit your needs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with government, they can't go broke bankrupt if they provide a bad service. So what if you acquire a crooked cup? Someone else has just come to replace them. I want the freedom to choose a better security for me that's not going to be harmful and abusive to, to me and my family and my community, yeah. right? But of course, if they don't allow you to un un unsubscribe, they still have to take your money to, to fund that. Do they let cops in gated communities? Like, right. I know if they're yeah. responding to calls. Like, our, hire, like, uh, like, uh, like, I know, private, private Like, a lot of these things you won't even have to pay for because the businesses will want to provide the sense of security for yourself. Like, going to a mall, for example, right? There's, there's mall security. The same kind of feeling and sense of uh, security you have with mall security. Like, you, you don't feel like if you talk to them, they're going to, like, you know, have a problem with you all of a sudden, you know? You don't have that kind of scared um, edginess towards that kind of uh, security. That's how it would be like to have a security that's actually one, th one to protect you. But under what, like, regulations would they be operating under? It would be up to the What the rules that, that, that you agreed on? Real rules. You don't. You, you can't agree to the rules of the politicians because they force that rules onto everyone whether you agree on it or not. So every person that would choose to participate in whatever that institution yeah. is, they would have to sign some type yeah. of binding. They'll, they'll sign a contract, a real contract. And of course, if this is a contract, 
contract they don't like. It's like, I'm not signing it. But they'll have so many different offers. It's like, no, come to this community instead. This is the But if they became those little local individual type yeah. communities you're talking about, how many options could they really Unlimited. Have? That'd be, that's the best part. You'll have competing communities trying to offer you the best lifestyle choice for you to live your life. Come to us instead. Look, you don't like cannabis? No cannabis in this apartment complex. Do you like cannabis? Come to this apartment complex. You'll have different, and that's what businesses do. They cater to the consumers. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in business. But still in this system, somebody is regulating you. other people participate in. You are. They are, they are regulating that institution. Right. And if they're regulating it, they can treat it however they deem fit. Right, they regulate it as so far that what the consumer's yeah. preferences um, are. Like again, with Netflix, they didn't like the price increase, they don't, half of them left. Yeah. Right, so people pretty, pretty much go in that direction. If I don't like this service, obviously you're not going to be in business enough, but because there's no government regulation, monopoly on, on, on this industry, you'll have the freedom then to compete and provide a better service. What would be the currency you would provide? For currency, okay, so before 1913, there used to be a variety of different currencies. Towns had their own currency, banks had their own on currency, the freedom to compete and provide a real value of currency. Uh, 1913 came in, the government created the Fed. The Fed uh, huh? What? Uh, so they created, yeah, because they want people to, to trade only in their currency. Currency is like a commodity, like a paper clip or a car. This is the only force commodity you're allowed to trade in exchange, exchange uh, trading values of goods for. Um, and then and then they forbid anyone to do it. Anyone tries to trade outside of the dollar, you'll be thrown into a cage. Uh, and, and ever since, 97% of the value has lost its, its value and worth. That they also did because certain people would wait up and what they had worked for and their money was all of a sudden worthless. Right. And their currency that they believed in, that they decided to participate in, overnight became worthless. So, right, so okay. how would you prevent that type of Well, how are you pre preventing the 97% of the value of the dollar losing its value then? That hurts the poor the worst. There's no incentive to save. Every dollar you hide underneath your Beth mattress is depreciation value. That's what happens when you have a monopoly on anything. The cost always rises and the quality always goes down. But there is an interesting alternative that currently exists right now. It's called Bitcoin. Have you heard of it? Yes, I've heard of it. You've heard of Bitcoin? Of course. Ah. I was just asking like, about Bitcoin. Really? Yes. Uh, what, what, please, align us. What, what do you know? Come closer, come closer. What do you know about Bitcoin? I use them to buy online games. Really? Yeah. You bought online games for Bitcoin. That's all they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Reddit is starting to use it now. WordPress is starting to use it now. I now have an app to trade, it's digital currency, to trade Bitcoin. Um, I have some friends, we're putting together some pamphlets, information, pass it around the businesses. Government hates it because they can't regulate it, they can't tax it. It's anonymous, peer-to-peer -peer network, but it's, uh, they have these internal checks. Oh, you can also buy racy DVDs with Bitcoins. <laughs> nice, nice. So that's, there you go, Monopoly. Because they can't trace you. Right, and, but Bitcoin though, will not throw you to a cage if you try to compete against it, right? Whereas the US dollar will. There's a guy who tried to create his own currency called the Liberty Dollar a few years back. Uh, backed by precious metal, all this stuff, IRS came in, seized his assets, threw him in a cage. Right? And that's, and that's, was this a tax evasion scam? No, he tried to create his own currency. He tried to create his own currency while still playing money to the, to the actual federal government? Well, I guess during that time you're, you're kind of forced to kind of give him your money in taxes. But then he's trying to create a different currency that's not going to lose his value. Um, and then, but the thing is you're not allowed to compete against the monopoly. On this is why they hate Bitcoin, because they can't control it. Did he, did, he, did he try to pay the IRS in his no. currency? Did no. He pay, so he was paying the IRS in dollars? Uh, he wasn't really trying to do anything with the government. He's trying to go create his own currency on the side of the government. So he had gone into his own currency yeah. and stopped paying the government. Uh, well, that's not why they got him. They got him because he created his own currency. You're not allowed to create your own currency. For the same reason, you're not allowed to create a business that delivers partial of mail. They also have a monopoly on first class mail, USPS. That's why they're sixty billion dollars in debt. That's why FedEx and UPS can only deliver packages. Are you an anarchist? Yes. Frat meeting tonight. Well, that's, so that's the more position that I was just talking about. Anarchy means without political rulers, without their monopoly on services. The freedom to compete, the freedom to provide a better service is not going to be harmful and abusive. But then who keeps order? You do as a consumer, because then everything caters to you and to your preference. Like Netflix, I was describing. Last year, try to raise your prices overnight, and people are like, "Oh, fuck that! Cancel, unsubscribe, go to Hulu." You have the freedom now say no, I don't want that service, or have the freedom to provide a better service. And that's what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin's an what, what if I have, what if I have, I don't know, I have uh, a TV in my house, yeah. and, and there's no government, Yeah. and my neighbor comes by, and, and we watch TV today for, for a while, yeah. and then when he goes, he wants to take it with him. Your neighbor wants to take it with him? Yeah. Okay, all right, so uh, why would you invite uh, your neighbor who would steal from you in the first place, I would like to know. What kind of relationship do you have with him? Okay, okay. I know you, I 
I can invite um, friends to my house, and they, they might be them. friends of friends. Okay, okay. So this this happens. Uh, these things like tend to happen sometimes. Someone steals from each other. He can still have security. No, I mean he's have... not stealing. He's just saying I I'm taking this now. That's called stealing if you don't want him to steal it, right? So right. I don't want him to take it. Right. Yeah. So he's he's stealing your property. He's taking your property. He's claiming ownership and taking this property with him. So who do I go to to help me with him? He's bigger than me. Right. Right. All right. All right. Great. All right. Just like so you can still have security. I guess security is not going to throw you into a cage for a victimless crime. Pretty much security actually want to protect your property. In Detroit, this is what exists right now. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit yes. In Detroit, they file for yes. They file for bankruptcy. Uh, the police response time is over an hour. There's this gentleman, this guy, who created his own business to provide real security for these neighborhoods. Crime has dropped down dramatically. That's a mob. That's that's how mobs work. That's not how mobs mob. Or do you know mobs are involuntary? They come to your door and say you have to pay protection. This guy doesn't do that. It's voluntary. But so if somebody wants to steal her keys, then I have to go pay someone. You're gonna call your guy that you pay. All right. So you. So you. So what? Wait a minute. If I can pay this guy to come protect me, what if I say, well, my neighbor, he has an Xbox. I want his Xbox. Right. 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 Go get his Xbox. Everybody pretty much has it. Your guy and his guy are gonna have to find it out. Right. So what's gonna end up happening? The agencies realizing that violence is very costly, that it costs a lot of money for the insurance for to kind of pay off for one of their agents that gets harmed, they're going to find out a dispute resolution between that and pass a kind of rule that says this is what happens. Obviously, they're going to find out who aggressed who's, who first. They're going to find out that that person stole your TV. So they're going to so this is that person that goes against his contract because you're not allowed to steal in the contract that you have with your security company because otherwise you have to pay a penalty. Mostly in the same way like when you drive your your insurance premiums will go up if you drive reckless. Email, and no, and one, one, no one will want to cover you. In the community that you live, in a free and voluntary society, you have real contracts. In this contract of community, you don't steal from anyone. If you do, here are the penalties. If you're coming to this community, you're buying and agreeing to this contract. And it could be whatever consequences you want. It could be if you aggress against me, it could be a pedal fight. Whatever we agree to on that contract. If you aggress against me, you know, $200 for whatever the contract says. Over here. But what if he didn't sign on my, onto my contract? He wouldn't, be, he wouldn't be there in the first place. No, wait, wait a minute. He's in some community. He or wouldn't he, be invited. Or he's a transient. He, he, he could comes be by. Well, you can't go inside any of this. He's a transient. Right. He didn't sign any contract right. that says so he can't steal from me. He wouldn't be so in the community himself. in the first place. But he how, how who would let him? You have a security like, in front of these communities preventing people who would be murdered. That's no, that's not what government is. Government, you're forced to pay for that security. You don't have the freedom to unsubscribe. You don't have the freedom. They force one preference on over to You have these rich diversity of communities where you can have a 420 friendly community, one that's not. Well, all right. What if the whole community community that's right next door to me on the border. Sure. They didn't sign a contract that says they can't steal from us. That community that, that's right on the border of you, the people who founded those communities will have these agreements with neighboring communities. They'll agree with certain rules if they want to coexist. It'll be like having a mall next to another mall. You'll, you'll have the same kind of rules. No, but they, they, on their community, they say there's no, they say there's no such thing as private property. Right. Perfectly, perfectly reasonable. Fine. Perfectly, fine. perfectly reasonable. Yeah. So, they think on their community yeah. that everything, everything belongs to everybody. Sure, yeah, yeah, that's so perfectly fine. I'm walking with my ball, and he takes it, and he goes off to his community. Right. Who do I call? So for you, you would say that uh, you would not. Why would you want to go back into that community, right? I'm not in the community. We have, he's my neighbor. So you went into a community knowing the risk that someone can take your property at any time, uh, knowing that this you're going to a community where anyone well, can take your property. I didn't go to him. He's just next to me. He doesn't believe in property. Well, he wouldn't be able. So to, he he, he would not be able to invite into your community in the first place. Yo, Moss security doesn't let allow vagrants to come in or people who are going to steal or rob or murder. If I'm going to provide a community, I'm going to provide you protection, I'm going to provide you security. No one's going to steal from you. So right at the border, there would be a good firm border, run by anarchists, a good firm border that says the, the community with no, pers with no personal property is distinct from my community. It'll be a guy like at a golf course community that exists today, or 55 seniors up and older in Florida. It'll be like a mall. It'll be a security guard in the gated community, or like when you go to Walt Disney, when you go in there, you're not allowed to steal. So there'd be a big guy there who would say, Hey, uh, would you like you to come in here? No, 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 no. They'll say, hey. Welcome. Uh, please, um, I'd love for you to come in and have some fun. Just sign this contract that you're not going to assault, murder, steal, or anything like that. If you do, here's the consequences to agree to this terms. If you do, then please, welcome. But for each, for every action that yeah. you create, there would have to be kind of like a, like a contract. This contract would be volumes for any type of infringement. Right, so. Have to name, you know, yeah, there's no particular law in Virginia that says you can't. Well, it could be. Well, it, right, right. There's no law in Virginia that says you have to. Yeah, wear pants outside. <laughs>
it is not on our books. There is nothing on the books that says you have to wear pants up. Indecent exposure. Indecent exposure, right. It's, it's, it's a law. Well, but there is a law in the books that says if you smoke a plant, they'll kidnap you and throw you into a cage. I mean, right? And they've thrown many people for victim of this crisis yeah, into a case to suffer and be dehumanized. Uh, they have over a million people uh, suffering right now in cages for all this problem. This is supposed to be the most freest country in the world, but they dehumanize more people than any other country in the, in the world because of government, because of forcing preferences onto each other. Over 75% of the people in those cages rotting right now is because of victimless crimes. It's horrible. It's horrible. And that's government. They do that to people for victimless crimes. They force one preference onto everyone. You don't have the freedom to cancel or unsubscribe and have a better form of security that's not going to throw you into a cage. That's what you have with government. If that's something that you enjoy, then go for it. If that's something that you want. If you have this kind of sadomasochistic desire to live in such a community where you know you don't have to, there's no safe word. There's no safe word with government. But that's the kind of fetish community you like. You have the freedom to do that. For everyone else, you don't want. I'm not okay with everything my government does. But rather than say I'm against my government. I am going to make a, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to petition my because government. Because I am not a slave to beg for government and for change for strangers to tell me what I can I and cannot give in my speak. life. It's tell my me what right. You're it's begging for little... Here's a good example. They do like all the evil Let's shit. say we like, trans... Yeah. Let's say you have a sandwich, after, right? Like, a right. You should be able to do whatever you want with that sandwich if I want to eat it. I just eat the sandwich. If I want to throw it away, I should be able to throw away that sandwich. But what if some guy just says, you know what, I'll change... I'll says, I'm going to eat... 40% of your sandwich and then go off and do whatever. Is that cool? Is that fair for me well, to take like 40 45 of my sandwich? 40% of your sandwich? But you're not counting all the other parts of the sandwich, all the other things. Well, yeah. Like I buy that. stuff, I pay property, you pay property tax, you pay so, yeah, sales tax, gas tax, 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 gas tax. You should have a gas tax. You don't have any tax. 40, 50 percent of your income sold into government. How much you can do with that to, to divert your own resources to something that you want? And that's what I'm saying is that they force that service onto you. You don't have the freedom to unsubscribe or have the freedom to, to experiment or to explore or to have a community that you want to live with that lifestyle that you choose. With that extra money, I would now have to pay my guy to protect me. I would have to pay somebody to fix my road. I would have to argue you all my do. neighbors got all the roads. Yeah. Let's yeah. say so you got dream. Times Square, because which is where I'm really like Yeah, I know. Remember under, under, not, under, not as bad under, as Detroit. But let's say all the bi oh, yeah. yeah, it is kind of hit or miss. Let's say all the businesses but, uh, in this yeah, man, area want to provide a safe place for their party. customers. So, well, it would be First in their five, best five, interest to hire a security company for Times Square. So let's say you have a Times Square security company. And if bad things go down, then people aren't want to go, 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 aren't want to go, aren't yeah, like going to want to go to Times Square for their business, and so those businesses are going to lose money. So it's in the best interest of businesses to provide things for their customers in order to keep them safe. There's still nothing keeping one business and their security from trying to overtake another business. There is. It's called feudalism. This is exactly what it's called. It's not called feudalism. This is voluntary. It's a difference between no, rape and lovemaking. One's consensual, one's coercive. You have to understand one's consensual, the other's non-consensual. You're absolutely right. right? Don't Violence is defined as placing a person in an involuntary position without their consent of choice. Rape, murder, theft, and assault. All violations of personal property rights. That is what government does. It steals from you, throws you into rape cages. They kidnap you. They all violations of personal property. That is the only way they know how to solve problems. Any problem, right? A business who tries to do that will go bankrupt. You have the freedom to compete. Everyone will say, we'll give you a million dollar guarantee. This will never happen to you. Find any proof or sort of evidence of any kind of tyrannical form that we're doing our business, we'll pay out. Because the thing is, they want to provide you a best service, otherwise they're going to lose it to someone else who's going to provide you something better. Because you have the freedom not to compete, anyone can provide you a better service. Those pieces will be the first one to go down and go bankrupt the moment they try to aggress against you. Again, this, this goes back to the Netflix example. They try to raise their prices overnight. People say, cancel, unsubscribe, go to Hulu. Go to someone else that's better. That's not going to be abusing the, the price for, for the services. See, the market keeps people away from because it costs lots of money to violently overthrow another business, right? And it's not profitable to do that. You have to, like, say, hey, there's this government over here, and they'll do it for me, which is how you get that kind of 
violent takeover. It, it, like, the, it there are the, like, there are islands and then I'll that we own, that we as a government own because businesses wanted to, like, giant corporations wanted to do stuff with them, and they were like, hey, we can get the government to it. Like, Dole Foods is why we have Hawaii. Yeah. Because they were like, hey, guys. Can you clear out this place they for us? Like yeah. Can you be yeah. saying yeah. that if Have you ever read Civilization and This was a really issue. Like, no. Why are you hitting me? I recommend like, oh, like, it. All right. But if you say that in that community, if they, had, they yeah. infringe, <laughs> if they infringe upon your rights, they'll give you a payout of $1 million, like yeah. you said. But that $1 million would only be worth anything in that community, so they could just give you whatever they want. It'll be Bitcoin, it'll be whatever value of currency that you would be ridiculous. I would love it. That's what anarchy will bring to you. Bitcoin, a rich variety of different ways. Exchange. Uh, like coin. That's anarchy. That's anarchy currency. It seems Decentralized. Like, it seems like you're just no taking the government and chopping it up into little pieces where people can't. Do you have a little more freedom to choose which one they like? I don't want a little more freedom. I want all my freedoms back. There's never but been you're not, a you don't system have, of communities like, diverse next to each other that have coexisted. Like look right here. Look who we are. We all come from different. And here we are, different backgrounds, and yet we prefer to use nonviolent solutions to interact. We prefer discussion and rationalizing persuasion but versus violence. Part of this the right same here is anarchy. We're all sitting here. And we're all citizens, voluntarily or involuntarily, of the United States. That's and a, we are under that community. That's a big distinction, voluntary and involuntary. Once well, rape, once lovemaking. One huge distinction between voluntary and involuntary. You're forced to be born here. You don't have a choice. You're forced to be a tax slave. You don't have a choice. And the point I want to say, when you yeah, have free market my, services my, for roads, for all these services, when you have competition, the price of that stuff goes down and the quality always goes up. First plastic was free TVs that came out a couple years ago, several years ago, it cost thousands of dollars for Big bulk. Today you can find a good version for a few hundred bucks. Because they're competing companies that so offer when you have price. services for roads and all this stuff, the cost but of that will go down. But when you have competing governments that are offering you different ways, but you get is compete, every, they don't compete. Oh yes, they yeah, do. No, no they, oh, I have to go to another place. No, no, to get this another is government. this is the whole. Right? Why do you think we are Americans and not Brits here? You know governments how, compete. Yeah, you compete. You know how? Why do you think the whole history, the whole African continent, is chopped up because governments compete? It's, it's the founding it's tyrants, up. it's political rulers it's that are competing. About no, it was governments. Because Europe they wanted over a long the, time ago. The, the French yeah. people said to themselves, we're stuck on this tiny yeah. little hexagon and we don't have enough stuff. You'll be so giving the rule of law to business people. owners. I think we're giving the rule of law to you to choose what preference you want to choose best for yourself, not to them. anyone else. I don't trust you can't trust yourself? I don't you can't trust, trust you can make the best choices for yourself. That's I what will happen. I trust myself. Right. That's I it. do That's not all trust you need. my banker. That is all you need. You don't have to have a banker. You can choose. You don't. You, no one else can dictate but that for you. I have to have a banker so I can. Under government, money. yes, you do. Under government, you have to use their currency, the dollar. You're not allowed to cancel and subscribe. You're not allowed to have the freedom to compete. Maybe secretly through Bitcoin, but yeah, that's the most well, extent you can secret. have. You're forced to use first class mail. You're not allowed to have any other service to deliver I mean, pieces of paper. How would somebody get a loan in your community to buy a house then? Like, the same way. The same way. The people same way you do now. All right, all right, all right. Look, the price of stamps has risen over 150%. You that's know what a postal worker work makes? You know what a postal worker's pension costs? It's they have to, it should be a dollar right now. It's unfunded liabilities. It all comes from taxation, all from theft. It's all going to collapse. I mean, Social like, Security, you'll never have you this in your lifetime. You know a postal worker makes? I'd personally rather like subscribe to like FedEx or UPS to right? get my they You know how much they don't pay? That's even worse. So you would rather, just because you're against government, you'd like to pay people to work for a lot less money and be exploited as right. no, Excuse me, have you, do you know how much they make at Costco? A lot more than Walmart. Actually, quite a livable wage at Walmart, and they're not forced to do that. There's at no Walmart? minimum wage. At Costco, oh, no, no, at Costco, they pay you quite a deal of sum of money at, to work there. At, at, the, like, the, oh, well, the postal, all your, all the laws, you the postal yeah. service is a terrible so business model that, that loses money all the time. If we don't yeah. have, yeah. if we don't yeah. have a free postal service, service. we don't have. It's not free. You steal from other people to fund it. It's not free. It steals from people to fund it. I don't when you have a government, right. it's you a terrible for a business, business model. model. When you pay for a stamp, you pay for a stamp. Really, you're paying 42 cents for a stamp. You're, you're paying if for you subsidized loans that they borrow you every year. They never repay back. If you pay for a uh, FedEx, you're paying a dollar. I think the, I think it should also be a dollar for the post. I think it should be a dollar because they don't they don't pay people. There was a there was a guy you who competed. Isn't a business. There was a guy who competed against USPS over 100 years ago. His name was Lysander Spooner. I mean, people have to eat. Because the cost to deliver parcel mail was two dollars and fifty. 
think so. Quite cost of compared to what it is today. But during the time you looked at the Constitution, it doesn't grant the government an exclusive right to have a post office. This is that they can. So he looked at that and he competed. He created the American Motor Mail Company. And because of that competition, he was actually doing faster, effectively, cheaper. If you force Congress to drop the price of stamps, he used to follow the three cent stamp. Eventually, they ordered him with a lot of legal debt, trying to shoot him in court because trying to say you can't do that, can't do that, and force him out of business. And then Congress has passed a law says no one's allowed to compete with the USPS. So this guy proved they could do it cheaper, much more effective, much more beneficial to you as a consumer, much more better than the what government can. There are things wrong with our government. All of it is wrong. It's funded through theft. There's not like one thing wrong. The NSA does not read our mail. They could never read our mail. They could read our emails. There's no way. Like the prohibition on alcohol here. Everything. But so you'd rather have people be paid two bucks an hour or less. They can. So it can be a non. So it be a non-government organization. Yes, two bucks an hour. It should be illegal. Until when? Until seventy percent of your income is stolen? Until eighty percent of your income is stolen? Until so many more people are in cages? European countries. This is also not a great job. Right. They also have more countries. They're and the, and, and the and the uh, do you know what's happening in Europe? Falling like dominoes because the of the monopoly and currency. Uh, Greece, Ireland, the Spain, market. all of them falling the like dominoes. Livelihoods lost. All of it losing. Switzerland, every, everything is going down. No, it's not fine. Everything is going down. The market has child labor. All of it is going down. Detroit, several cities in California are falling for bankruptcy. Sacramento is next. Philadelphia is next. It's unsustainable. This is why governments fell. This is why Rome fell. Under your system, I don't have a system. Okay. Okay. In a free and voluntary society where you're competent enough to make adult choices and deciding what's best for you? Yes. Free and voluntary society where one to fail, the market you would have to No. You're a part of the market. We want to fail. Someone will just someone will just buy on it and re-innovate it. It's like sometimes you'll have a failing a business store. Someone will just buy the business store and provide a better service, a better choice. Failing. Right. We're leaving. Private charities don't protect people. Right. Government did that. Government created Detroit. Government created a bankruptcy. Unfunded liabilities. Things would happen in your community. So what, what's happening now in Detroit? Again, you have all these interesting people that create, who are creating services, not forced at gunpoint, but people voluntarily want these services, and they're cheaper, effective, have a lot more fun, a lot more creative, and that's what you'll have in a free and voluntary society. The Salvation Army is not. People are running away from Detroit because it was government control, not because it was a free and voluntary society. And the Red Cross. Right, they're running to another tax one because government ruined it. They're going to one that works better. No, they're, just just they're, they're running into another cage. They're escaping a cage only to find themselves into another cage. A cage with more jobs. It's all inevitable. Where are the jobs where all these people are going to have after they graduate? Uh, uh, it's just exactly. That's what government does. You're 75% poor because of all the regulations that were passed in the last 60 years. 75% poor. Medium income home families making $57,000 should be making over $300,000 today. The depreciation of the currency in your pocket today is losing its value. That's government, man. I have some of the worst values. I have my ability to and provide yes, a vote is worth right? it. The evil government is what you say. I can't count on the mafia is not to do some charity, but you know what? Before 1960, everybody was taking care of each other. There is these organizations in cities all over the country. Yes, they were called friendly societies. You can cross-check me if you want. Google friendly societies. These central community banks that people volunteer paid money for. And even somebody somebody loses their wife, they lost their job. People can go there and bring that some of money to help right. them. There, there, was not, there was not a lot of problems with doctors helping a lot of the communities, trading it for, for like a uh, carton of eggs and stuff like that. Now you have a monopoly on health care to Medicare and Medicaid, and that's why you have a lot of like, the situations you have today. So you're, you're looking for, for a small silver lining. There is no such thing. It could be so much better if you didn't have this coherence, if you didn't have that tyranny, if you didn't have the mafia model that exists today. Well then, tell me then. Well, are you comfortable? This is very important. Are you comfortable then taking taking the money at gunpoint from your friends and family to fund your ideas? Can you do that? No, I don't want to. Why are you supporting a system that knows how to solve problems only through that? Then a bunch of them. That's not the only way they solve. They steal from you. Called taxes or our licenses or permits. Taxes also provide. They steal. So if you're comfortable with that, can you take the gun and point at your friends and family and take their money to fund your good ideas? No, because by living in America, we choose to protect. 
Just if you, you don't have a choice. You were born into it. You were born as a tax fraud. That's the I matrix. Can leave this country, you, though. To run away as a coward to another tax fraud, you're more than welcome to. You're more than welcome. If you love government so much, move to North Korea. But if you can't do it, then don't be a coward and pass it off to the cops and do your extortion for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How do you think taxes are stolen? If they could send Wesley Snipes into a cage for three years for not paying his taxes, they could surely send anyone else into a cage. If you're saying you're perfectly fine with taxes, then don't be a coward. Hold the gun and point it at your friends and family or neighbors, the people you never met, and stranger, and take the money. Can you do that? If you can't, then don't be a coward. Don't advocate for something that you said you can't do yourself. That tax money that the government pointed against somebody's head also came back and helped my family. But then they give you a few pennies for something that you you can't even imagine what it could have been like. You, you probably wouldn't have that much problem. You probably wouldn't have so much more help than with the little meager pennies that they throw at you. You're relying too much on the individual. You're relying too much on extortion. You're relying too much on the matrix. You're relying too much on politicians, on strangers. Yes, that's what the matrix is. You're born into the system. Right? You're born into this propaganda of lies. You're born into calling them founding fathers and then calling them for what they are from founding tyrants. Because my friends and my family are here and I'm not a coward. I'm not going to run away. This is where the violence is and this is where I draw my moral line to fight that. Right? This is where I fight the matrix. This is where I try to dispel all the propaganda and lies that they put upon my own entire community and throwing them away in cages for victimless crimes. They do lie. They do All of it. So why support it? But... It's a Why support it's liars? Why support thieves? It's, a linear it's not a linear progression. You're, you're going to die a slave if you think politics is going to set you free. From you say, the hey, I'm Political rulers, you can amass so much wealth in a small amount of time. These you can have health and yes, senators, presidents, everybody, all the political rulers in charge. That's why they want salary. That's a law. Stealing from you. Their salary is dependent on stealing from you. That's not a real business. That's not a real job. Their salary is depending from your theft. How old are you? Oh, so you're older than me. Hi. Hey man, it's good to see you. Hi Josh, I'm Maimuna. Maimuna my name is Cal, pleasure to meet you again. Hey, hey, how you been? What? I've been okay. Yeah, yeah. You ever go on the Reddit anarcho-capitalism? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally? Yeah, good stuff. I kind of freak in there every once in a while. See, I don't see how you can blend those two ideas, anarchy and capitalism. Because they're confusing capitalism with corporatism. There would be no yeah, such thing as corporations without really. government. No such thing. No, no such thing as uh, oil spill <laughs> cruise off of Valdez off the coast of Alaska, escaping personal liability responsibility for his actions. Would never exist. You would be held personally responsible for your actions. Who will hold them the accountable? You, as a consumer, they will never be in charge. They will never have jobs. The consumer, I was just telling him about you the gap. You see them. You have it. I think the corporation. The gap yeah. is a corporation. I don't believe that they should fund, they should get money from suppliers who use child labor. Who will stop them from doing that? Why would you uh, support such a business that, that does that? Of course I don't shop there. Of course they close the crap. I've never shopped there. They, as so what do I do about them besides not shop there? And the state. The corporation is a small feeder fish that feeds off your freedoms. It's the Leviathan. It's government that created those Frankenstein monsters to begin with. You don't fight the Frankenstein monster. You fight the creator that creates a lot of these problems. Problems in the first place. No, but you go I, right to the now, source, you go to the cause. children that are in sweatshops right now, and I want to stop it. Would you rather they starve? It helps. Uh, Is that your solution? Like because you're not it because of these situations that government say, created in those communities that forces so them to go there because they forced them to start because the value of the currency has increased to, 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 to a low that means that there's literally nothing. Situation, but they should not be taking money from corporations that use children. Right, so without corporations, you wouldn't have these problems. These children wouldn't have to starve. Well, what do I do about it now? The state. Let go of the idea that politics Meanwhile. will set you free. Meanwhile, talk, you start in your community. Turn to your community and turn away from government. Start in your own interpersonal relationships. You see, what I did, what a bunch, what a several million um, Americans did was go to Congress and get a bill and sue the company. We had, and that, well, we didn't sue the company. The government sued the company. Okay, and, and so corporations are done? They're ended? No! No, they're still no, there! But we won that one! What do you mean you won, won that one? You begged for something that didn't happen. You still have the same problem. You're still losing more freedoms. Who cares? You can stop using that business and go to another one just like you're talking about. No, the thing is these corporations will still exist as long as government exists. Who's to say these corporations in your community? Who can say Because there's no government to provide them for the protection from, from personal liability. There's no monopoly on violence to uphold with that contract. That's all that is. It's a piece of paper backed and enforced by government to allow them to escape personal responsibility and actions. That's that all that is. Companies are liable for and without the government, America without the monopoly and force and violence that they have, it's not Starbucks going on the streets on, on Wall Street. It's government and the police. You're you're the power from you know, 
judges. My neighbor to comes enforce and laws. Yeah, and yeah, I, can, I can tell. Business owners. Do you want me Who to can make up an any awful, law? No, awful it's awful you. Idea. They can make, they can make up any law, but the thing is they can have no customers who don't agree on that. No, many customers will agree with that. If they want to have that, if they want to live in a kinky, sadomistic relationship with that, go for it. So then anyone else who don't want a part of that, they don't have to, they're not forced to be a part of that. But you want to do, you want to force everyone onto your idea, your preference, and help everyone best to live. You want to steal everyone's currency and their wealth and their happiness to fund your ideas because that's all that government knows how to solve problems. So one of these corporations decides, hey, we're going to take over the company and by the way, we'll kill all the Jews and the gays and the... Great, because there's never been one example in the history that any business has been able to take over any geographic region without the support and funding of government. None. Without a government, no well, examples. Well, actually, they turned over the government. No they example. Private. None. Can't show me. Uh, Doesn't this, exist. They did turn over Doesn't their exist. Well, no history. In any history, no example or fact of a business being able to take over any corporate, any geographic region without the support and funding of government. You can look at Blackwater. They can be their own. Okay, the whole. You should read about Florence. You should read about Italy. Here, you should I read uh, these selection of books uh, that I have here on the back of this anarchy pamphlet. I think you'll find it really useful, especially for parenting. I always, I never say no to books. Read about Italy because they had every different. I, I don't, Prince I, of um, that region you know, had their own little the corporation yeah, the and, you, piece of and find out how well it went for them. You gave me one already. Uh, Are these the enough. same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. But, yeah, it's the rundown. but it seems like you're taking the authority that judges yeah. have to enforce what people have put into effect. People will not yes, judges who will hold you in contempt and throw you into a case because they don't like what you wear. Yeah, I would like to have the freedom to choose my fair and impartial judge that I am paying their salary for that's not going to be abusing me who's paying this to consumer. If you don't wear the clothes if you, don't wait, if you don't stand up for them, if you don't call them your honor, they can code you in contempt. If you don't say the Pledge of Allegiance, they will throw you into occasions like they've done to dozens of others in this country. Whereas, Geico will never do that to you. You're, 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 Geico, they've robbed me more than the government, I gotta tell you. They robbed you? Yes, they robbed me. Under his system, you agreed to participate with Geico. I did not agree to, well, I have to participate with one or another of these auto companies. Because what? the government makes you Thank sign up you. They forced you to. No, guy could get it. Well, government forces. Government says, if you don't have insurance, we'll throw we'll fine you. If you don't pay that fine, we'll throw you into a cage. Guy is not in their well, policy. Okay. That's government policy. Let's say policy. I'm riding along on my bike and I hit some old, old lady and she breaks her spleen. Will you not pay restitution? Will not help her out? Well, I have no money. You have no money, so you don't have friends to say, hey, let's get this fundraiser together. I want to help her. I would not. Well, you run away like a coward? You run away from your responsibilities? No, I have insurance. That's why the law says I have to have insurance. So you have insurance, so that will pay off, and she's going to be comfortable, she's going to be fine. She agrees to the restitution. No third parties involved, no prisons involved, no one else trying to fund this kind of extortion scheme that's called the prison system here that exists. None well, of that would exist. Well, what if, let's say something did happen. This uh, a guy comes and knocks me off my bike, and I'm falling and I'm in the road and he doesn't have insurance. Well, he wouldn't be there in the first place. Why would, same thing as uh, gated communities. To be a part of your community though, you have to agree to participate in their system just like we agree to participate. It's called consent. If you want to make uh, love to a woman, you have consent, right? Otherwise it's called rape, right? One's consensual, one's not consensual. But the thing is, that's what government is. It's non-consensual. It's involuntary. It's all the same thing. Whatever, anything can happen. Or, great example. Over 100 years ago, over 90% of the farmers were slave owners. The argument that they were talking about then is like, well, we're free the slaves. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to live? Where, who's going to house? Who's going to feed them? Who's going to who's tend the crops? Who's going to who's going to take the condom? It doesn't matter. The argument from morality is that it doesn't matter what happens after you free the slaves. It's wrong and immoral and evil to have this violent institution in the first place. He told the same farmers, 90% of that, 100 years from now, only 10% of you are still going to be farmers because you're going to free up a free plurality of nonviolent solutions to these silly little problems. You're going to have fossil fuels, big trucks, dust crappers in the sky, a free market solution. That's what's going to happen. You tell the same person, I don't know what that looks like. Agriculture is not going to look the same. When you end this institution of violence, when you end this extortion system, when you end the violence of government, I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's going to look so much better than what happens, what we have right now. It'll look like 13th century. Illinois. It'll look so like in the future, we'll finally be able to get off this rock, off the dysfunct public funding and policy of NASA, for example. I just don't trust people as much as So why do, you, why do you create an organization? Where the most distrustful can be in charge and take over your life. Because we can, f it's better to fight. Because you're a propagandist. Because you guys are born into it. That's fine, you guys. It's this is a great example of what Stockholm syndrome looks like. Yeah. Hopefully, one day you can let go of the idea that violence is set us free. Uh, you as well. So, if you guys want to have more questions, I'm going to go talk to more of the people. You're advocating violence. You will not. It's not like the government's going to say. If I were to smoke a plant, they'll throw me into a cage. If I try to create my own currency, they try to throw me into a cage. If I try to compete with USPS, they throw me into a cage. If I try to 
parents run, uh, try to cut someone's hair without their the permission or a piece of paper or a permit, they throw me to a cage. Yeah, I think that's inherently violence. If you can't see that, good luck today if, to you. Go off wandering as a Look, as a right blind man into, right into the society here. Your arm ends where the next person's face begins. That's what all you don't have a right to steal from me. Yeah. Of course. That's what taxation is. Stop supporting it. Right. Well, I don't have a right to steal from you. You don't have a right. To but why do you support government? Should you steal from me? You should be fine. Is it why do you support government then? I use public roads. I use public schools. Government doesn't build any of that stuff. Businesses build that stuff. No. They steal from you. I'm sorry. No, the my friends build the road. roads. No, my friends build roads. Because they, they outsource no that to businesses. They steal there from no you and give it to the we poorly to, connected. We had to kick it and Yes, say, that's how they your do. Your friends that the build government. roads are employed by the government. Right. You know those roads. Exactly. And your friends also provided the tax money to those companies. So that your they steal from you to give it to the... Yeah, they're the middle man. Yeah, so the thing is you don't have the freedom to provide a better system that's not like driving on the moon around here in Richmond. What if all of a sudden in the minute of monument, in fact, this did happen. They say, okay, we don't want to have bricks. We don't want to have asphalt. We want to suddenly have uh, a brick patish, brick mosaic. And this brick mosaic will be three inches tall and will leave little spiky ends on it. What stops them from doing that? It's there. It's it's in their community. They feel like that would be prettier. How do we stop them? Well, we don't. Well, no. No one will go there. Because people, it's unsafe. No one will it go there. It is unsafe. It's unsafe people for who? For the people who live there? No one will go there. I'm just trying no, to it's to unsafe for the people who have to cross through there. No one's going to cross through there. there. Well, no, well, well, people have to cross well, no, through there. No one will go. We'll create a different road around them. We'll ignore them. No one would Let's with them. Let's say we're in a theater. Just build a flyer, and, and, yeah. and some fat dude wants to sit on the exit to the theater. Well, you already made a contract by buying a ticket. No, you agree. Not to block the exit. They say it right before the beginning of the theater. If you can't understand it, if you're an incompetent person to understand rules, then get the hell out of the theater. Yeah, the rules at the theater. Don't record. Don't stand by the exit. Don't talk on the phone. And that's the you don't see them in the credits when they come up? If you don't agree, why the hell are you sitting there in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Because these rules are just the type of thing that you're trying to say. I'm saying rules can exist. We can have rules. You just don't need political rulers, strangers, arbitrarily dictating your life. It's just the you government should know order. Congressman. I don't need to know my would-be robber. I don't need to know my would-be rapist, my would-be mugger. That's all they are. Become a congressman. I don't need to become your ruler. Do you need me to become your ruler? I'm, no. here's, my, here's, my, here's my congressman position. You don't need rulers. I think you're a competent individual human being who can, who can make good you. choices on your own. You're making business owners. You can reuse your own voice. Your voice is not a piece of paper. It's not a chat. It's not a lever. They're afraid if you actually use your real voice, you'd be afraid that we can't share real this one of them. No, you time. don't. If you vote, you don't. I vote you're and I you vote, When you vote, you acknowledge you're nothing but a slave. You're nothing but an apathetic person who spends a couple of hours, what, every four years looking for parking, waiting in line, hiding in secret in a booth, and people tell you who you voted for, you say, well, how dare you? That's a personal issue. And then you never talk about it again for another Those four years. That's for me. You're, that's you're that's, that's you. You're, that's your advocation for government. To hide in secret and not talk about it and to do it a very cowardly, apathetic you're act and what? Looking for parking and waiting in line. You're assuming a lot about me that you don't know. That is all that government does. That's the only way they trick you. You and to think you're participating, you're creating any kind of change. So I'm not assuming that's objectively I, I'm what it is. I'm you're against the vote. I'm against forcing ideas onto anyone, and that's what voting is. But, okay, but, we'll go, okay, hold on, hold on. but should you live in one of those communities, a business owner that you sign an agreement with to become in a relationship with, they have the rules over the land around you because they own that business. Yeah. You don't think anything could go wrong in that situation? <laughs> <laughs> well, why would I be living in that community in the first place if I feel something will go wrong? I'll get well, a guarantee. let's just say there's a limited number of places where you can actually live. Wrong! Oh, well, like so much of the land is monopolized by the government. So much space is for you to host okay. it. So much public sparks and lands all over the country. Okay. That, is, that is such an incredible... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. There's so much land to home instead. So much places to create communities. We are limited in this bottom part because the government owns everything. We're limited by places that You're limited water. by government. Like I don't agree with like everything like the government you does. Guys, you but guys I do have the right. To yeah. You're assuming that businesses are evil. Yeah. Vote for people that well, I work for the customer me, service industry. They're raining, always saying, don't riding. fuck over your customer. Nice. What's or your name? Fire you. My name is Cal. Hi, Cal. Cal what? Cal Maloney. Cal Maloney. Maloney. Maloney, like. Maloney. Maloney.
that from? French. I thought so. That may help. And you are? And like. My Muna Bagate. My Muna Bagate. My Muna Bagate. Mm. Nice name. Well, it was a pleasure Hi. talking to you guys. Talking to you. Yeah, you too, man. What's your name? Josh. Yeah. Josh. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm here pretty much every day. We want to discuss more stuff. Uh, yeah, I encourage you to look at the pamphlets. Uh, on the back, there's a lot of interesting stuff. We have videos, a lot of things on how anarchy and efficient law would work in a free and voluntary society. Um, I just see so many complications coming out. There's so many complications that exist right now. True, but we have, have you ways ever to read deal with them. Uh, really the it's the Libertarian it's Manifesto. <laughs> it's read a good Economics one lesson. Are you going to bring Paul? No, these aren't the Rand Paul people. No, we're, we're anarchists. Yeah. yeah. I um. Yeah, I tried. Rand Paul is a libertarian. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> anyway. Caesar. Let me. <laughs> have you ever read uh, Ursula K. Le Guin's *The Dispossessed*? No. I think I'm going to put that top on the books for you because it is please. about it is about anarchists and an anarchist world. They is it about anarchists? Yes. Yes. It's very. There are much different about kinds of anarchists. Yes, there are very many different. <laughs> Kinds of anarchists. Anarcho pacifists, anarcho uh, feminists, anarcho. You know the guy with the pink skirt? Yeah. yeah. Were you at Oz? Is it Oz? At uh, Occupy so Richmond. Like, yes. 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 How could we have anarchism in the last half? We have no government. Are you really going to have to take it? You know the greatest thing about I know, I know. I'm not an anarcho pacifist. Yeah. Unless you have some kind of government that rules over people and can enforce laws, there isn't any real way to be a Because um, I just bought this one called 23. You get beat have up. To defend yourself if you want to survive. Right. No, no, we advocate for, you can have rules, you just don't need the rulers, the political rulers, arbitrary strangers, pretty much, arbitrarily dictating how life you're like. Whatever you agree, it's like, um, you can have whatever rule you agree to. Like Thunderdome, before you went into it, you have to give up your weapons. And when you went inside Thunderdome, you agree that if you're going to have a conflict, it goes into Thunderdome. That's the only way you resolve those conflicts. And everybody in that community, no matter how harsh and vicious looking that they do, they look like... There was no problem. Everybody agreed. They, they, had, uh, they actually had trade and barter system going on in there. You know, so, and that was in the interest of Thunderdome. Did you agree to and consent to that? And if you know any ways to get Bitcoin, I'd love to hear them. I'd love to talk to you about Bitcoin, actually. Yeah. Yeah. But Google won't give me Bitcoin. <laughs> And there's sites that will give, that say they'll give me Bitcoin, the night, and they don't give me Bitcoin. They build <laughs> I'm just not sure something like Thunderdome is yeah, actually like working in practice. So it, it works like a gated, uh, take a care, like gated golf communities. Those are voluntary, they're consensual, like the, like in Florida, you have 55 plus senior old uh, communities. Um, you, have, you have malls that create roads for you to travel on and provide mall security for you, you don't have to pay for it. It'll be just like that, rich, diverse communities, so you can have an apartment building that's 420 friendly, one across the street that's not. Exactly. Communities of preferences, the freedom to associate and disassociate, so like, and, and, and just the freedom to live your own it's lifestyle without being afraid or scared or that other people, because they have different preferences, are going to hire the government authority on preferences to, to force their ideas and opinions on you. But it seems like if somebody decides to disassociate with you, they, they would have to leave the entire area, uh, which would infringe upon their right to want to live there. Well, I don't know. They're through a polycentric law, because if you own your own property, it could only just exist like you, you own, if you own your own house, you have your own real estate, right? Obviously, if it's too aggressive, no one's going to come over, right? If you're just like, well, if you come here, you have to take off your shoes, take off your pants, and, uh, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm not going there, and no one will go there. You'll never have friends, and no one will come to your tea parties or part or, or anything, really. Uh, so it's pretty much so the rules will be a lot more open and catering to people's preference. You'll have a lot more tolerance. You'll have a lot more acceptance, because at least those things will not be aggressive on their, on, on their own property. But then again, there, you have the entire reason that humans came together in the first place and that we're not still a bunch of gathering bands for protection mostly and also you need multiple people working together under an agreed upon set of rules yeah, you do. to build, to build back. Yeah, yeah, and that's called the free market. That's called everybody having their own trade. Someone who creates clothes, someone who creates pants and cards and paper clips and notebooks. That's that's not exactly anarchy. More that is anarchy. It's voluntary. <laughs> what exists today? We're getting into all kinds of technicalities, but when it just breaks down, can I just, can, can someone just arbitrarily take your stuff, your resources, and use it for other things? I mean, anarchy is not what a guarantee. Is it moral? 
I it's mean, immoral, but you exactly. can't everyone it's living in this society. Like Anarchy is not a guarantee that you may or may not be aggressed upon. Government is a guarantee that you will be aggressed upon, that you will be having stolen from. It doesn't matter if you do or not. It doesn't matter if you're accepted or not. They have to steal from you to, to support government. Those people riding the rape cages, though, committed some type of victimless crime. Or some type of serious crime. Like a majority of the people in there, nearly 75% are victimless crimes. That's, that's not some people. That is a huge amount of people. there's a giant movement right now that is trying to get non-violent drug offenders to be pardoned. Yeah, and they're trying to do it through the political process. And not a day can be spent for any of them to, to continue to be in those rape cages. Years now is too long. But I believe in a hundred years, those type of crimes, people will not be safe. Then you would die a slave. Your children would be born with Social Security prison tattoo numbers printed on the bottoms of their feet if you still think that politics is going to set you free.